hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel b4 b tech so in this video we are going to learn about intruder so let's see what is intruder so they are the attackers who attempt to breach the security of the network that means an intruder is referred as a hacker they can be inexperienced hackers to professional means they can be both insider or outsider of an organization and they are trying to breach the security of any network and any organization whatever the data is stored in any organization for the security purpose they are trying to steal that data and they are try trying to breach the security of an organization so now we'll see types of intruder so there are three types of intruder first one is masquerader second one is misfazer and third one is clandestine so we'll discuss about masquerader what is it so it is usually an outsider and which is uh, which is an unauthorized person that uses our system and exploit the legitimate user user accordingly means they are not from our the they are not from the organization they are the outsider person and they are trying to steal the data of an organization second one is misfazer they are usually an insider that means they are working for an organization and purposely they are trying to steal the data and they are trying to misuse the credentials means whatever the credentials they are having for the logging of the account or logging of the software they are uh, misusing that uh, credentials and they are stealing the data and they are uh, working with that uh, security now the third one is clandestine they are the person who takes the supreme control of the system and stop the access to legitimate users they can be an insider or outsider means they can there can be both insider or outsider of an organization and they are the only person who takes the supreme control of the system and when they are getting the access of any account they are just changing the credentials and they are just changing the login details of that account and in this way they are doing the fraud so this is the third type of uh, uh, intruder that is clandestine now we will see how many types of detection systems are there in intruder means when uh, intruder, in, intrusion is happening we can detect it uh, using some methods using some systems there are five systems of intruder detection first one is intrusion detection system second one is intrusion prevention system third one is network monitoring system fourth one is anomaly detection system and fifth one is honeypot so basically uh, intrusion like when uh, any website or any apps is getting some uh, traffics lot of traffics or lot of packets happening at a time then there is intrusion happening so for that there are several mechanism and several systems are there like this intrusion detection system intrusion prevention system monitoring system and there are many websites that are working under that so these are the uh, systems that is used to control the intrusion and they are giving the alarm to that particular website or particular apps that intrusion is happening in your system so it can be prevented so how we can prevent that uh, intrusion so there are certain measures of preventing that intrusion first one is access control second one is regular patching and third one is constant monitoring so we'll discuss first one access control so a strong authentication mechanism such as two-step verification and two-step two authentication is there means when we are going to give the credentials to any users or any insider or outsider person of an organization there should be two-step verification so that a outsider or insider can't uh, get access of the things that they do not require so in this way we can prevent the intrusion second one is regular patching we can update our systems or softwares regularly and we can apply patches as soon as they are released so this is the updates we need to follow on our software system as soon as possible and in regular interval of time third one is constant monitoring we need to monitor the process constantly and apply security measures like whatever the things is happening in our software or in our system we need to monitor it constantly and if any things are happening if any mischievous things are happening in if any vulnerable things are happening then we can rectify it if we already knew about it so these are the three prevention measures of intrusion 
so for this video uh, we saw about intrusion and what are the types of intrusion how we can prevent the measures of intrusion everything so thanks for watching this video